All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. Uh, we're back playing Inscription. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. All that stuff helps me grow the channel. Definitely just fumble through those words. But playing it once again, continuing where we left off. Right now we have this card. I don't, it doesn't have a name. I guess it's one of those cards that he forgot he made or it forgot it made. They, whatever. Whatever's across the table from us forgot it made. But this one has a different uh, sigil. There was another one from a prior video that had something that looked similar to it, but it was more like, it looked like they were kind of flipped if anything, but this card is called, it has this thing called card counter and I don't know what, you can't really read it, but figure this one out. It's that uh, it has the same amount of attack as you do cards in your hand. And what I just did was I managed to basically, I gave it, I put it on a campfire and gave it two boosts of two health. So originally it had one health, now it has five with this sigil too. So now it's gonna be pretty good because I can just start grabbing a shit ton of cards over and over. And it's gonna be able to take more than one hit, at least two or three from most creatures. And if I really wanted to, I can just start grabbing a bunch of squirrel cards and just holding them because it's gonna get stronger every single time. So now this one attack is gonna wipe out those two and I can just keep building like this really until that porky porcupine breaks through there and then I'll decide to do something different. That one card, I mean, with the right setup can kind of solo if you just keep grabbing more cards in your hand. I don't know why I started recording too, just so I could explain that. Cause I was, I was like, this is a pretty, this is gonna be pretty good. It's pretty cool. First use of it carried the whole, whole game. Didn't have to put down another card. Well, except for the cards to put it down. One bone isn't bad. Ooh, that's not a bad card at all. It's gonna defend anything that comes out and also deal one damage back to it. I definitely want to give that one more health if I can. I still don't have a deck or like a main faction yet. I have one of everything right now. All right, one of everything, but not, you know what I mean? Everything I have, I have one effect, one of each faction. Guess I'm going reptilian. I don't, I don't think I've ever focused on the hooved because I just don't see their cards as much. Like they're all pretty strong cards. I just don't see them. And it does look like we have one use of the hook every run now. Okay, I didn't actually <laughs> just end the video. I just didn't have anything else to say or anything. But we are fighting the prospector right now and I was able to get tentacles down, I guess, and broke the mule. And I didn't even think about the combo that that would have. So now dude has seven damage and five health. Which is also, I mean, like, that's just crazy. It's pretty good. I think I might have almost just taken it out on accident. Which would have been shitty, but I mean, we just swung it all the way back our way and won with that. So that was pretty good. If we can get more cards like the pack, no, the pack rate gives equipment, but stuff that gives, you know, like cards in your hand. If there's a way to do that, that'd be good. Like a rabbit's worn, uh, the inset cards, maybe I'm taking, mm, I like child 13 because I want to see, mm, I'm going to take amalgama just because I need more cards that actually take advantage of this totem. Otherwise it's kind of, it's not useless, but it's just not as useful. Plus the child 13, I'm not really sure it's full capabilities, but I know that the amalgam has a good setup. It's kind of shitty that it's taken me this long to get back to where I was, or I keep dying to like simpler fights. All right, so now it's gonna spawn two dams on either side of it. And I think those dams are also gonna have that uh, leap ability as well. So that actually was a better mix than I thought it was gonna be. Plus, I don't know if it's going to get that sigil, though. That, I think that'd be pushing it for it. Even, even just hoping that'd be pushing it. Oh, shit, it did get it. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. That makes it even better to put stuff like that on the cards that you have a totem for, then. The only thing to make that better would be if it could, uh... If those could attack somehow. Did it, I don't remember there being nuts on the squirrel card. I thought they were simpler than that. There's also this little squirrel creature next to it too. 
Oops. I'm actually gonna wait a turn to put down this squirrel or to spawn in the uh, tentacles. That way one of these is gonna move over in front of this adder and then I can kill the adder when on its next turn. This will do two damage and take out that rather before I can actually come in. So that's actually pretty good. Let's see before I can. This is going to be good because it's going to take out the rather before it can come in. Don't know why I'm saying actually so much. <laughs> I don't do anything. I'm going to deal four damage back and then take two damage. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and let's find a one shot my amalgam or whatever it is, tentacles though. Concedes? It kind of wasn't down, but I guess it's out of cards to put it. So really eventually it is gonna lose. But um I do kind of want the kill so I can get more tokens. I beat the angler or whatever the dude's name was, but I ended up in this fight where I'm kind of getting my ass kicked again. Still two lives, so that's good, but this vulture is gonna beat the shit out of me because I don't have enough flight defense and I need more low level cards, I guess. So I can't ever get, I've, I struggle to get like the lower end cards, but something I did want to show is that I have this amalgam now, duplicated it, it gets the effects of my sigil, which is gonna give it a one shot kill and I can hear myself breathing. And I took the sigil off of that corpse and put it on this one. So now whenever it, something dies on the field, it's gonna uh, send this card in. So my amalgamum is gonna go in if that tentacle dies. And there's a few different versions of these, ten of these tentacles also I've noticed. But yeah, definitely getting fucked up by flying creatures. I just had another one where it's like, oh yeah, you have, they give you, they gave it a bunch of flying creatures. And then all the flying creatures had stinks. So I'm dealing less damage to them. So I'm dealing, basically it makes it to where like I have to do two damage. Oh, I actually see the picture. Do two damage or do nothing at all, basically. Before I get a random card, fully re-equipped and then I should be able to go into that last fight and hopefully do something decent. Area? I don't think they relight the candles either. It's kind of shitty that I lost the fight like right before this one because that kind of means that, uh, what the fuck? not like the cards that I deal you. Fine. The fuck? And is that gonna reset my hand? Cause I actually kind of like my hand. But, okay, I just got it from the table. Like, well, it's been a six second since I tried anything off table. So let's check that out. Let's see what happens now. Cause I don't know if dude was happy or upset with that. A man stood before you. A man recognized the beauty. Was the trap. Oh, he reached out to examine the wares but stopped me. Sorry, but today you will supply the pills. Whoa, he's gonna fucking main my deck. Apparently, that's that's a sentence, anyways. Strange frog, gross, and a trap. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. Pelt, a pelt is created in your hand. I like the music for this fight too. That was a pretty good starting hand too, so. Hopefully stuff goes well. We're defended against flying creatures. Fuck, it's into a thing afterward after it dies. Okay. 
it's not the worst because once it once it's gone, it'll make a space to put down uh Chevy. You get a wolf pelt though, which actually isn't that bad. I don't know what its second phase is going to be, but I think Chevy can one shot. And I can just pick a card up. I'll take this one. Yeah, I think Chevy one shots. Yep. happening was this the traitor i didn't even realize <laughs> i probably should have noticed that early oh shit i should have realized that the traitor uh and the trapper are the same face but this is shitty and i don't have the fish hook to take any of these but uh, i'll be able to wipe the shit in front of me but i have to figure out a way to block all this damage Aid for what I can, but the rest will stay and fight. Definitely want to get the moose out of here. And this bear. And the shark, if I can. Oh, I only got two? Okay. I can't get rid of that shark, but that's not as bad. I'll try and get rid of this adder in a second. I have no bone creatures right now, which is actually annoying. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot that uh, Chevy flies. Bro, that car is even better than I thought it was. My lives are restored. Oh, and I get back to two laps. That's even better, <laughs> bro. My girlfriend sees this video. She's going to be real happy. The DOS. I kind of, I like this ability. Uh, that filthy feral hog. It becomes incest when it chimes, it, when its chimes are struck. And it's a hooved creature, which makes sense now. Like, okay, so we can expect to see pig cards, which is actually pretty cool. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. So another defense land card. I don't, the Gek is such a strange card to me. I don't, it's a free card to put down actually, which I didn't realize. So that actually might be good to take. But the Mole Man, actually, but nothing about the Mole Man. I'm taking the Gek. I need more cards that can go down. Not the most powerful take, but I have been struggling with getting like normal cards down, so that's gonna make it easier. With the, with the enigmatic traitor and trapper now bleeding into the snow, you persist. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. The end is near. Oh. Okay, that looks like the door that we're gonna walk into. So I'm gonna take this time to look around a little bit first. I can't see, there's nothing exactly behind me. I can't see shit right there either. The game is just, hang on, can I turn the brightness up? Let me see if there's anything to see. Is that no reason, if there's no reason for me to play with the gamma super high, then I'm not gonna have it super high. Cause this area is black and just as black as it was before. Maybe I will keep it up just cause of how it looks. I would have wished I could change how these things look, but it looks like there's a new one every time we play. Stick the thing out of here already. That's where the stink bug was. I haven't edited that video to know how to do these yet. Do this one yet. Cool. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for your future cha for future challengers. So these, I guess, are <clears throat> in the base deck now. I have a worker ant and a queen ant. And I believe that both gain more attack for each ant on the field, or at least the queen ant does. Cool. All right. The caged wolf, another beast card, or another canine. It just has 
health though. Oh, maybe I just be broken out of its cage. That would be a cool setup. I like I'll take this time now to see if I can uh look for anything better. Right before the potential end. Oh, okay, cool. Is that a squirrel head? And I thought I had all the totem heads together. My thanks. The wood carver will offer this now. So maybe that's gonna make my squirrels more powerful. I've already gotten the token for uh I've already gotten the token for dealing damage or not the token, but the achievement for dealing damage with a squirrel. I have the caged wolf, but I don't know if there's something that I can interact with over here. Okay. Let me see what I have. If there's any sigils, I wouldn't stink bugs looking kind of weird now. I didn't notice that if it's been like that this whole time. And I don't even know where the stout oh stout's still looking pretty square and strained. Let's see if there's anything I want to take the sigil off of. The warren. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it off of the warren. Or do I have a, how much equipment do I have? I have the squirrel and the fan, but I don't think that's it. That or this card, I don't remember what this is, and I never do that. Oh, that's the trader, but I don't have anything to trade, I don't think. Yeah, I don't have any pelts or anything, so that's useless. I think I'll go into the equipment just to hopefully get something better. A goat wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Their eyes had fixed themselves on a small cabin. It's a warm light or beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marks the end of your travails. I doubt it's going to be the end. I raised the gamma right before this because I can still barely see this. It is just super dark, but there's like it looks like oh shit, am I supposed to be moving? <laughs> oh fuck, I can't see a damn thing. Why am I sm oh I'm the piece now? Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with an opportunity. You don't, you don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be revered mightily. Okay, so I have to pass this trial. Trial of rarity. The drawn cards must include a rare card. The trial of wing. The trial of three cards must include an airborne Don't think I have that many airborne cards. I definitely don't have a dive card. I know I have some rare cards in my hand, especially with the amalgam, those two tentacle cards. So I'm really going to have to hope something rare comes out because those other two I definitely don't have. I'd say that one's pretty rare. These two are garbage. Great, thank God. Cause I'll show for this. They gave me the two cards that you get anyways. Okay. Okay, so that's the full boon of the Bone Lord. That's powerful. The magpie draw any card in the deck every time you draw. Rune of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Or I can draw twice at the beginning of my turn. I think that's going to be more powerful. That way I can always grab a squirrel and a monster. Or two squirrels if I really had a monster I wanted to put out and I had started with it already. Definitely got to take that one. I don't want to do it again though. I don't have a ring. I don't have a. I'm gonna fail this one because I don't have a pelt and I don't have that. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm definitely gonna fail this one. I hope nothing bad happens because of that. Maybe I would have kept getting. 
oh is this the final boss would i've kept getting stuff if i kept uh like passing sigils or passing the trials i mean would have been easier and easier maybe that's kind of what it looks like it's not it's not gonna be i'm gonna get my ass kicked Took your time out there. Ew. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? This isn't as bad as I thought, though. I thought it was going to be less human like, but he kind of just looks like a mountain man. His arms kind of look spindly, though. I should have backed away from the table first. It only says adequately repaired. Wow. Adequately prepared. Jeez. Ah, uh, dude has three lives. And I have one. Okay, great. Got the amalgam. That's a good start. That's going to go down for free, so I don't have to worry about getting anything down in its place. The mole man is just going to get in the way for a while. When an empty space would be a struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. All right, so I'm gonna, oh, is he gonna have the faces spawn through each time? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna get, that's not a bad play. I'm gonna get the moments move over here to block that amalgam so it can't come down. Actually, I might insta kill that mole man instead. But I want to hold out on using these too early and just do this for now. Put the pickaxe out, so I'm hoping that nothing bad happens with that. The mantis got attacks in three spots, which is going to be annoying. Definitely want to get that out as soon as possible. Both of those coming in, I can use the smoke and the squirrel to put down my wolf card. Oh, fuck. It didn't say it was going to hit those. Oh, I did. Fuck. No, I did call out that having the uh, thing in its hand. So that's kind of annoying. I was hoping that basically that exact thing wouldn't happen. Okay, I have Chevy now, which could be pretty, well, not even could be, but will be pretty powerful. Pull this in that we have more defense in a second. That and on our next turn, we'll be able to put it down and it'll insta kill one of these amalgams. Actually, didn't even have to worry about it because amalgam kind of killed itself. Or not that it killed itself, but it got killed by its own teammate. Kind of. Put one there to block that amalgam's attack. Actually, yeah, we'll be fine in this. We should be at least. I'll put this one down here. It's because of all this damage that uh, Chevy does combined with that other amalgam. The onslaught of red creatures. Shadowy figures appeared before you. Their eyes remembered a recognition of kinship colored by guilt. They were betraying you. I remember that only fondly. I remember Reginald. I don't remember. 
Wait, what the, who the fuck is Reginald then? Because I remember Lilo. That is one of my death cards. Didn't expect this, but it does make sense. But I don't, I don't remember making Lilo. I already forgot about them. Kind of. Never mind. That was like two rounds ago. I do remember it. I do remember uh, making Lilo. It's bell ringer. So I don't know what bell ringer does actually. Both of these will insta kill, and I can get both of those amalgams out the way now. That's too much health to give it, though. I'm fine with that. Like Chevy's really finna carry this uh, whole round, I'm not gonna lie. doesn't have a face up right now does he no and i think it just has some random death cards in there because i'm still fairly new to the game so it's not gonna have a bunch of shit in it but right now chevy is definitely carrying us oh, this the chevy and the amalgamation really as long as he doesn't just wipe my hand or steal my cards i should be good the moon it's dramatic yes but i proved it no value to my board is he blaming the moon for why he's losing? Am I gonna get blinded? Crazy. What the fuck? He just took the moon and made it a... Okay, whatever. What's this thing have? Omni strike, a card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing card wow i can't read will strike each opposing card that is occupied by a creature it will strike directly with no if no creature is opposing it okay title lock at the beginning of this owner's turn a card bearing this sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into an orbit okay well none of these should be small creatures uh, a card bearing this sigil will block 273 oh wait that's just leap yeah okay never mind the adder insta kills. So this is the snapper actually. I think it would have been good either way. Um Let's just see if that counts still. Yeah. <laughs> you really destroyed the move. Yeah, fuck the moon. I'm out who who blew it up? Go Vegeta, not Vegeta. Piccolo. Piccolo blown up the moon on Earth. That's me right now. I suppose all of that's left is to finish me off. Okay. Uh, this is, I hope shit doesn't just change in a second, but we'll see. This boon right here helped out a lot too. I was kind of shit. I was real pissy about this hand at first too, but I brought it back. It was pretty good. I don't think this is the end of the game though. Cause I was told it was very long and this, I don't think this was, Enduring victory. Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Oh. Um, oh shit. What the fuck just happened? Hold up one second. I got to start a new video because this this one's like 43 minutes long right now. So come back next time. Man. We're going to figure out what the fuck is going on here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. I was going to end it, but I probably should actually say some decently okay shit. Uh, yeah, tune in for this next time, though.